गुड इवनिंग फोर्टी थर्ड बैच गुड इवनिंग आवा यू ऑल फाइन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट टुडे इज लाइव आर यू रेडी प्लीज यस यस थैंक यू so let me start do you know who i am i'm the crown of the great india yes oh when i look down there i can see the himalayas the thar desert the indo gangetic plains oh my god what a natural scenery this is all my places oh, who is there holding my hand Hello, Uttara. Hi. I am Purva. I am the eastern part of India. I consist of four states: West Bengal, Bihar, Jharkhand, and Odisha. Kolkata oh, is my biggest city, and I also um, share my union territory with uh, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. What about you? So nice. And about me, I should say. like if there is a paradise on world on earth it is this it is this it is this and that is my little srinagar from the jammu and kashmir where the whole world i should say is fighting for there is a little bit of gadbad happening in my place but still i love my self and you know what the whole nation of india has its own capital within me that is the new delhi and that is one of the most important places within me and to talk about the states i would say chandigarh again delhi haryana rajasthan punjab like that it flows to 11 states and union territories tell me about you oh uttara is in cold there because of the himalayas yes. yes definitely it is very cold and i do shiver at times but i am so happy i can cuddle upon my little thar desert ah oh, now because it's april here it is too hot here but uh, from july to october it is monsoon i am and my favorite season wow the monsoon season over here it is very rare that it rains but yes like you said it is very cold most of the time in the year it is very cold but mm. at times it goes up and down yes oh, wow. um, so can you tell what about the people and the cuisine yeah the people and the cuisine it is very vibrant i should say you know india itself is a very vibrant country and the culture over here is so nice where all the people unite together and it is that is where you see the secularism it is not only about religion it is where you see though they are from different culture though they eat different food different or uh, they may be believing in different gods they stand together when they go outside the nation you know they stand as indians they don't stand as a bihari a keralite a jammu no never they all are indians and yes talking about the different things about my place the dance i should say there are a list of indian folk dances like you see the bhangra from punjab and the natti from himachal pradesh and roop and bhand padar from kashmir bhand padar you heard of it you know uh, the song from uh, mission kashmir bhumro bhumro it's a little bit improvised version of the kashmiri dance Mm, what yes. about you i would also like to hear from you oh i also have miss culture and people and we also speak eight different languages we have 80 percentage of hindus and muslims uh, christian and buddhist um, puri is uh, in odisha bhuvaneswar uh, the city of temples konark 
houses and old sun temple is the famous uh, places in my uh, region and the famous people Rabindana Tagore and Vivek, uh, Swami Vivekananda is uh, mm -hmm. hailed from my region do you know mm -hmm. and uh, also the um, yes and also the uh, famous odyssey dance here can you see yes, yes. this also comes from my region it is so beautiful to watch the odyssey dance and before earlier i i still remember you asked me about my cuisine you know the tandoori chicken this comes from the north this comes from the north and i would say proudly it is the northy food and also the reshmi kebab kadai paneer all forms part of my cuisine and i should not leave behind the rajasthani sweets oh my god your mouth will water yeah yes yes um, because of the mughal uh, influence you have all, yes. all kind of things and because uh, mm -hmm. i have the uh, western uh, culture uh, we have french cuisine there and also the west bengal people they love fish uh, so fish is the main important cuisine for them Wow. And in uh, my part, actually, especially Rajasthan, Bihar, these places, you know, we produce most of the wheat. And we are called the wheat producers. Yes, the northern part of India, it is called the wheat producers also. Ah, the, these food items is making me hungry. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> so uh, what about the culture, uh, the dance and all? Yes, the dance and all, like I said earlier, it is the Bhangra, the, you know, the Kashmiri dance, even the Rajas, every particular state has their own type of dance. Like you said, for Orissa, it is the Odissi dance, you know, mm. and talking, talking, talking too much. I just want to pray that mm. we all unite. Yes, uh, uh, Helen, uh, Uttra, uh, I just remembered uh, you, uh, from your place, the, uh, it's called Varanasi, no? The yes, it is a, there are a lot of pilgrim places like Varanasi, you know, the Chardham, that is there. Ayodhya is a very important place for pilgrimage and even the Kushinagar, like that so many places, especially the Golden Temple, the world known Golden Temple is also from the northern part of India. Talking about all the pilgrimage areas, I would badly want to pray that all the others will also join with us. I would like to call Shehla from my, my state to give us a prayer. Lead us with a prayer. Yes. Thank you. There shall be showers of plenty. This is the promise of love. There shall be peace and refreshing sent from the Savior above. Show us of blessing, show us of blessing we need. Mercy wrapped round us the falling, but for the show us we plead. Mercy wrapped round us the falling, but for the show us we plead. Thank you. Wow, wow, well done, well done, Sahela, ma'am. Well done, well yes. done, well done, well done, well done, well done. Super, super. Yes. And uh, you know, uh, Purva, yes. who's there holding your hand over there? Who's that? I think there are so many. There's one more next to me, you know. Okay, uh, let's talk about them before that. Shall we meet everyone and let everyone meet each other? Yes, this shows the unity of India. So let's start. Yes. Let's start from you. Uttara. Sure, definitely. The Uttara is coming in. Hello, everyone. World of wonder. World of wonder. World of wonder. So many beautiful geographies and histories are there, and different maps are there. Beautiful art and craft, world of wonder, world of wonder, world of wonder. Oh, wow, 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 super, super. 
Now, Uttara, let me show you my states. The okay. Purvas are coming. Yes, come on. Yes. Hi, 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 everyone. We are the language apparatus as we are pre writing board. Pre writing board. Sun pepper lettuce, sun pepper lettuce, metal insects, metal insects, movable alphabets, normal and cursive, movable alphabets, normal and cursive, alphabet dies with box, alphabet dies with box. My little children come to us, we will teach you knowledge through. Practice with us, practice with us. We are Purva signing in as language apparatus. Thank you. Wow, that was so nice to meet you, Purva. And you know what? Who's waiting over there? I think it is the Paschima holding my other hand. How many fingers on one hand? How many fingers on one hand? How many fingers on one hand? Let's all count together. One, two, three, four, five. 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 How many fingers on two hands? How many fingers on two hands? How many fingers on two hands? Let's all count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. One. Wow, that oh, was wow, so wow. Wow. Super, super. Now, do I... oh, on my on my other hand, it is the yes. China, the green bones words on country, the Mohini atom which hails from there. Come on, the China. Come on. How many fingers on one hand? How many? Juba play with numbers. Juba juba play with numbers. One oh oh, let's think about it. Two oh oh, um scissors. Three oh oh. I'm okay. Four, uh oh, I can grab my head. Five, uh oh, go high fade. To be juba, play with numbers. 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 Wow, wow, super, super, Dakshina. Now, Uttara, for welcoming yes. us, uh, my from my state, my friend is here to wel give his welcome speech. Wow, that's nice. Wow. Thank you. A warm good evening to each and every one of you. Distinguished viewers, our respected Baba Alexander sir, Evaluator Mrs. Sri Jama and faculty of 43rd batch of NCDC, Mrs. Shakila Wahab ma'am, and my dear fellow students of 43rd batch of NCDC. Welcome to the live class of this batch. I'm sure you all have been waiting for this. I'm very honored to be thinking the hard work, patience, and perseverance of our dear Shakila ma'am, without whom we would not have been here today. It is indeed a great pleasure seeing you all gathered here. Without taking much of your time, I want to mention a lesson that personally inspires me. 
to do and achieve more despite failing a hundred times. Your limitation is only your imagination. Thus, let's start our life with hopes and dreams that no matters how limited we might be. We will do our best to achieve what we can call dreams. After all, patience and perseverance are a couple of secrets to success. With that being said, I would like to thank you all for your patience and time. And once again, I welcome you all to this live class. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much for welcoming, welcoming us all as India over here. Wow. Well done, well done. Well done, 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 well done. Super, 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 super. Well done, well done. Come on, Purva. Come. Yes, come to me, Purva. Yes. Come on. Shall we play some game? I think someone's up here to share with us some open world program thinking about the world i would just like to tell you that it is someone's birthday today it is queen elizabeth's birthday this is just out of india but still just that we remembered about the world i just wanted to share it yes who's coming in with the open world program today it is it is the Pashima. Yes. Pashima. Come on, yell out. We are here. Yes. Hello, my dears. And I guess it is time to have some fun. So I will be sharing the link for you all in, in the chat box. So uh, you can just copy paste them and then enter the game. All right. So, oh, yes, okay. yes, Okay, so I guess we have enough contestants, so I guess we can start without any delay. So here we go. Yes, Sandhya ma'am, you can announce the status. Yes.
Wow, wonderful. I hope you all had fun doing it. Yes, guys? Yes, it was yes. really fun. All right. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of it. Wow, that was so nice a game. You know, Super all riddles and all tricky questions. So nice, right, Purva? Yes. I enjoyed it. I, so I also really enjoyed it. Yeah. So I think, so now the Paschima is done. The Uttara is done. The Purva is done. Is it? The Dakshinas. So the Dakshinas. Yes. They are up with some learning. You know, we learn, we grow, we do so many things over here. Come on. Thank you. Hello, Kirti. Where are you? Yes, dear, I'm coming. Ah, okay, we can go for the reality show. Come fast. It's too late. Yes, dear, I'm so excited. I'm also so excited because uh, Dr. Maria Montessori was the special guest in our reality show. So I was so excited. What about you? Me too. And uh, how was the contestants? They all prepared? Yes, I think everyone was prepared. Uh, so they are introducing about the language material and uh, mathematical material and all. So it was a wonderful show. I hope so. So we can move on to our reality show. Come first. Yes, dear. Okay. Yes. Once again, welcome back to our one another episode of our reality show. So for today's uh, reality show, we have a special guest, our Dr. Maria Montessori, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am, to the show. And first of all, I would like to welcome our first contestant, Sajina, ma'am. Welcome, Sajina, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Shaima, ma'am. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Language development is taught to proceed ordinary process of learning in which children acquire the forms, meanings and uses of words and utterance from the linguistic inputs. It supports the ability of the child and uh, to think, understand and express feelings. So language development lays the foundation for reading and writing skills. So, pre-writing board is a language apparatus of uh, Montessori. In traditional way of teaching, teachers initially teach the student and then only they move to the writing part. But in Montessori, it is vice versa. And we may feel this concept a little difficult to understand at first. But using this pre-writing apparatus, we realize the fact that this method is possible and it is more advantageous than the traditional one. Okay, then I am inviting your side to this pre-writing board. See, this pre-writing board has three different shades, a red, a blue and green with a no ball, so attached on it. Okay, the writing skill of student develops by holding the kid's hand from one end of this knob and move from one side to other. So we can develop the writing skills of children in different age groups using this pre-writing board. For one to two years, we can make them imitate a vertical line or scribble in a vertical or horizontal motion. And for age group of two to three, kids can imitate or they can master a vertical horizontal line and imitate a circle shape also. Then for the age of group of three to four years, they can draw neatly horizontal and vertical line and imitate the shape of circle, square and cross shapes also. The student of the four to five age group can imitate cross shape, triangle shape and can trace a line also. And in fact, they can grasp a pencil in position that enables writing. So when it comes to five to six age group, they can draw a neat triangle and cross shapes. So they will be able to identify and differentiate between big and small lines and curves. So pre-writing skills are the fundamental fine motor skills that children need to develop before they begin to write. Pre-writing skills 
help our child build finger strength, eye hand coordination, wrist movement and grip strength also. This will in turn help children to gradually hold and use a pencil or any writing tool to draw, write, color and in general express themselves. In simple words, pre-writing skills generally refer to the lines and stroke patterns kids need to master before they learn how to write. So these skills are essential for the child to be able to develop the ability to hold and move a pencil easily. So it is right in a legible manner. Its skills are like warm up activities to gradually prepare our child to write. So every child is unique and they develop at their own pace. So we can give the child enough time and encouragement to cross these milestones. Thank you. Thank you all. Wow, super, super, wow, super, 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 you all know what is a metal inset in a Montessori. The metal insets are part of the Montessori language curriculum. And they are the learning tool to prepare children for writing. And this eye-catching material is comprised of 10 flat metal squares that have two components. And this includes a pink frame and a blue metal shape cut out with a knob in the center. You can see in the picture, there is a knob and the colors are pink and blue. And how do we use these metal insets? You can slowly pick up the metal inset by its knob and place it over the shape you have just drawn. And just pick a different colored pencil from the tray and entirely of the shape in the same fashion as, as with the same frame. And put the pencil back in the groove and the insert back with its frame on the right side of the writing tray. And for this, the child is free to select the shape and they wish to use some colors. However, the child is presented seven sequential lessons. The lessons begin with tracing the inside of the square frame, the outline of the shape with one color, two colors to fill in the shape. And like in shading the shape, and they can also use this material for drawing different types of shapes. And these metal insects help to prepare hands for writing and grip and hold the pencil, and also refine hand control to steady the pencil. Also develops movements of straight and curved lines, and in preparation for letter formation, or a continual line which can assist with cursive development. And one of the main benefit of doing this metal inset activity is hand and eye coordination. Like to make more small coordinated movements, and experience the result of pressure on the pencil. And it's uh, formally light and dark, you know. And experience a graduation of color, develop fine muscles in the hand, but also the larger muscles requires for sitting and maintaining posture for writing. And they will get a focus of mind and can also develop a strength of the child's concentration. Like this, we can use this material in Montessori House of Children. There is a lot of uh, benefits are there by using this material. And usually these materials include uh, square, triangle, circle, rectangle, oval, trapezoid, pentagon, curvilineal triangle, quatrefoil, and ellipse. And these metal insets are usually kept in a cabinet Sloping back, allowing children easily and access to the material. I hope you all know about metal insets.
Thank you. Wow. Super, Annie, ma'am. Super, super, super. Very wow, well explained. Wow, wow. Yes. Wow, wow. Super, 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 super. super, super, super. Yes. Come on. So, ma'am, appreciation. Appreciation, so Very sweet. Yes, ma'am. Super, 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 well done, well done, ma'am, super, super. Thank you, Aisha, ma'am. Yes, so now we can call our Sandhya, ma'am. Welcome, Sandhya, ma'am. Hello everyone, I hope you all are having a wonderful time. I am having a wonderful time around here. Now here I'm here to give a short presentation on spindle box that is used in our Montessori house. All right, so let's start the journey. The first question that arises in, our, in your mind is that what are Montessori spindles? So here we have the answer for that. Montessori spindles, as you can see on the picture, are long wooden sticks that are kept in a rectangular wooden box. There are two boxes, each divided into five compartments, with individual numbers of 0 to 9 printed at the back of the compartment. The first box has compartments for numbers 0 to 4, and the second box has compartments for numbers 5 to 9. The aim of this activity is for the child to place the correct amount of spindles into the respective numbered compartments. Easy, isn't it? So it is easily the our child or the, uh, you know, the Montessori children are able to understand the numbers. All right. The next one, how the spindle box is presented. The spindle box is an early Montessori math activity where the child is able to visually identify a return number and match a loose quantity of spindles to that particular number on the board. See, my dear friends, very much visible. You see the number, you pick up the number of sticks uh, or number of spindles and you put it inside the box. The directress begins by introducing a spindle to the child, asking, asking him to feel it. She points to number one on the box and asks the child what number it is. And he replies by saying one. She then picks up one spindle and holds it tightly to get a muscular impression of quantity. She says one and places one in the child's hand. And the directress then points to number one compartment and asks the child to place the spindle into the correct compartment. There are 45 spindles in the spindle box. This continues in the same manner until all of the 45 spindles have been counted and placed into their correct order. As there are exactly 45 spindles in the Montessori spindle box, there, should be, there shouldn't be any short or leftover. The child will know if something went wrong. At the end of the activity, there should be no spindles left over or any shot. The directress reminds the child that there are no spindles left over in the box or should there be any spindle in the number compartment zero. So here the child comes to know that there is no spindles in the compartment zero. Why? Because there is no number, right? So here the child again recognizes the importance of the Zero. Next, how to control an error in the spindle box? The number of spindles over or short by end is the activity control of error. Should there be spindles left over or any spindles short, then a mistake has been made somewhere, which the child needs to find, identify and fix. Again, here, we, what are we doing? We are giving a chance for our child to find out his mistake by himself. Okay, so again here, like all the Montessori activities, our child here in the Montessori house is learning by doing. If at all he makes a mistake, he is rectifying the mistake by himself. All right, 
the directress emphasizes that zero is a placeholder and zero means nothing because it's holding its place un until number 10. Once the child has counted and placed the correct number of spindles in the number compartments, he is asked to replace each spindle one by one back into the wooden box in which it lives. So, my dear friends, that was about the spindle box. I hope I made myself much clearer and we can utilize this for our children in our Montessori house. Thank you. Yes, it was so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Super, 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 super. Well done, well done, well done, dear. Super, super, super. Well done, well done, super, super, dear. Well done, well done, super, super. Super, super. Okay, our next contestant, Tapsina. Hello, good evening, everyone. Yes, I am a language apparatus. Yes, I am a sandpaper letters. And um, I'm the material which helps the children to learn the sound and shape of the letters of alphabets. And I help to gain muscle memory of the letter shape in preparation for writing. The English alphabets is cut out of fine sandpaper and pasted on a smooth surface. The vowels are pasted on blue surface and the consonants on a pink surface. Both the sides of the letters are spaced at the required distance. The direct purpose of the sandpaper letters is to teach the child the sound of the alphabet by means of muscular and visual memory. The child is encouraged to trace the symbol over and over again until the shape of the letter becomes a part of the child's muscle memory. And the indirect purpose of the sandpaper letters are preparation for reading and writing. Here it helps eyes recognize all the letters by touching it with the fingers of the hand. And it helps to recognize the shape and sound of the letters. The conductive development of muscles and helps tactile brain development also. Now, how to introduce this apparatus to the children? First, we can invite the child to sit with you and wash your fingertips to sensitize your fingers. Invite the child to do the same and take out the first three letters you're going to work with. Then take them back to the table and sit with the child. Introduce the first letter, that is child's first initial we can take. We can ask the child, what's your name? And if he's telling it's, uh, for example, it's Jack, then your name starts with J sound. That is what J looks like. Show the letter. Now I am going to show you how to write it. Like use the left hand to hold the letter child steady. Then trace the letter with the first two fingers of your right hand. As you trace the letter, say the sound of the letter. And trace and sound out the letter three times. Now pass the tile to the child and let them have a go. Put the first tile to the top right of the table and repeat with the second one. Repeat with the third letter like that we can do. So once the child is finished, put the letters back on the shelf. Thank you. Wow, super, super, wow, super, super, super. Well done, well done, dear, well done, dear, well done, dear. Super, 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 super. Well done, well done, well done, dear. Super, 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 dear. Super, super. Super, super. Yes. Now we can call Helen, ma'am. Welcome, Helen, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Today, I'm here with the sandpaper globe. 
I hope you can see the sandpaper globe over there. Well, that is how it looked. The sandpaper globe is also known as the land and water globe. It is an introductory geography material from the sensorial curriculum. This material introduces the child to the concept of the globe as a representation of earth and clearly defines the concepts of land and water. Outstanding features of sandpaper globe are the blue water and the elevated land formations with a sandy texture. The sandpaper globe prepares children for the second Montessori globe, which is the colored globe or the globe of continents. It indicates the different continents of the world in different colors, like Africa may be red, Asia may be yellow, Australia may be orange, like that. That is how this uh, continent globe looks like. And basically, the purpose of the sandpaper globe is to introduce children to the concepts of land and water. By doing the activities with the sandpaper globes, the child gets a sense of the shape of the world and is also able to visualize the distribution of land and water over the earth. Once understood, these concepts are built upon by introducing the colored globe to the child. And how to present? This is the next question that we would have. Well, you can invite the child to the culture curriculum area and identify the sandpaper globe. Have the child carry the globe with two hands on the wooden base that you can see on the picture on the wooden base and let the child carry it to a table. Sit next to the child in front of the material. Tell the child, this is what a world looks like from the outer space. And the moment you say this, the child will be asking so many things about the outer space also. Yes, you will have to answer those. And while you rotate the globe, you know, you can do like while you ask the same question or explain the same things about the sandpaper globe or maybe the outer space, you can just give a little tilt on the globe and rotate it. And once or twice, you can do it in silence, like without letting the uh, child knowing that you are doing it. So the, it actually allows the child to see how the pattern of the sandpaper globe uh, is like and uh, you know the patterns of sand and the blue which is the oceans or the seas it changes across the globe the patterns and you can also feel one of the rough parts like one of the continents and then have the child feel it also so that the child will understand how it really feels and then the you can tell them that this is land which is like indicating that the rough area is land and repeat the process with another rough section telling them this is also land so they will understand there are land in different parts of the whole world and repeat and repeat till they understand that particular concept and feel on one of the smooth parts you know which is the smooth part? It is the blue area. Yes. And you can say that it is one of the oceans or it is one of the seas. And then have the child also feel it and th tell them this area is water. Repeat the process with another smooth section telling them this is also water. Allow the child to turn the globe and let the child identify each section until they are comfortable with the bird's eye view like you had earlier said
that it is how the world looks like from the outer space. So that particular concept has to be registered in the child's mind. So for that purpose, the child has to sit with the particular apparatus and has to play with it for some time. And the water and land distribution also over the planet can be understood by the child. And some other activities that you can give the child are like once the child can easily identify both land and water on the sandpaper globe, you can actually in incorporate the sensorial jars also in your presentation filled with dirt and the other one with water respectively. You can have the child feel the contents of each jar and describe them to you like they can either have a shake of it maybe they'll listen to the sand shaking in it and another jar with water or some liquid in it and then they can understand that there is some form of liquid inside the jar and they will have to describe how it is and after this have them identify which jar is land and then ask them which other jar is water and where that is on the sandpaper globe. Yes, and another extension is again the printables. You know, there are so many pictures available about land and water. So you can bring in the printables also of both land and water locations from around the world. Present one to the child and ask them to identify if the image is land or water yes the child will easily identify because it is all colored you know with the color the child can easily identify whether it is land or water yeah these are some uh, simple applications that you can give in front of the children and so that they will grasp the concept easily well, this is how we also were taught, I think, so at home, not at school. Anyways, we all were learned our concepts also in a very similar manner. Yes, with that, I would say I come in as the sandpaper globe. Wow, super, 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 super. Well then, well then, well then, well then, well then, well then, dear. Super, 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 dear. Well then, well then, well then, well then, well then, dear. Well then, well then. Well then, well done. Thank you. Thank you. So, Kirti, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, yes, did you like parcel? Yes, ma'am. I okay, very much before like... going to yeah. Before going to that, uh, we want our Maria, ma'am, to judge this. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, welcome, Maria Montessori, ma'am. Thank you, dear. And actually, it was a tight competition. Very difficult to predict the winners. Uh, so the panel has decided to declare all of you as winners as you all have specialities of your own. Well, well done everyone. Well done dear. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow, Thank you. that was so nice. Thank you. So ma'am, you told about uh, puzzles. So can yes. we move to puzzles ma'am? Yes ma'am, everyone is excited about the puzzle. So today we are going to conduct who are my puzzles. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, so, first of all, we can call Farha, ma'am, right? Welcome, yes, Farha, ma'am. Thank you, Shaima, ma'am, and Kirti, ma'am. So, Thank everyone you. is ready? Shall I start? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Who am I? Who am I? Can you guess? Who am I? Who am I? Can you guess? I am very beautiful. I am of different color beads. I come in different uh, numbers. Children stack me up. When you look at me, I am in the shape of triangle. Tell me, tell me, who am I? Beads, tails, and pyramids. Yes. yes. Wow. Super. Super. 
so who is next girthi ma'am i think our cg ma'am ready yes welcome cg ma'am thank you ma'am hello sensorial area i have 10 weeks and 3 days at standard school and to make us to a yes can you give the last clue once again is it geometric solids ma'am to rip yes yes, yes. wow wow oh, super 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 shay mama super 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 wow wow super super Yes, Kirti ma'am. Now you can uh, tell uh, who am I puzzle ma'am. Okay dear. So I am a sensorial apparatus. I am made up of different materials. Six pairs there. Then can you guess the one? Thermic tablets. Thermic tablets. Yes. Belden, Belden, super, 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 yeah, super, 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 Kitty, ma'am, hey, ma'am, Farha, ma'am, Farha, ma'am. So, Kitty, ma'am, who is next, ma'am? I think our Aisha, ma'am, ready. Yes, welcome, Aisha, ma'am. Thank you. I am a part of sensorial apparatus. I have two boxes with six cylinders, and one set on my surface is red, and one one set is blue. I can make noise when shaken. Who am I? Sound cylinders. Sound, Sound cylinders. cylinders. Wow. wow! Wow! Well done, yes. well done, Aisha, ma'am. Super, super, wow. Aisha, ma'am. Super, super, dear. Ma'am, super. Yes. Thus, now we can call our Saumya, ma'am. Welcome yes. to. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I am a math apparatus. I am the set of ten green metal frames. The children can handle me very easily because my frames and insets have powder coated finishes. The children can learn fractions in math very easily with me. Tell me, tell me, who am I? Yes. Yes. Yes, Kirti ma'am. We can back over, hand over to our program committee. Yes. Thank you, thank you, my dear Dakshinas. You were so wonderful. Thank you so thank much. You. I'm thank so you. happy about you. Well, hel- well, Uttara. Yes. East or west? India is the best. Yes, north and south, east or west, India is the best. So for that, I think we need to cheer for our country with a national anthem. Yes. Shall we all stand up for the national anthem? <laughs> 